flip man, flip man. It's the flip man, flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Hit that bag. Good evening. <laughs> hey, we're in a little early. Well, no, I guess not. Well, early first. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A, little a little bit. Flipping our 305, uh, how to find cash buyers anywhere. Live to demo. A live to demo. This will be amazing. Trust me. Um, so um, before we get into that, it's, we'll, it's, we're going to start to get into that a little earlier than normal um probably in about 15 minutes so in the meantime we'll do our normal stuff and answer some questions but before we get into that uh, make sure uh we don't well we don't say this enough make sure you like and share this subscribe to the youtube channel follow wherever you are oh i need to go live on instagram and um if you want to join the live stream you can well, we'll hold that for now. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say it. We can text the word GATOR to 205-964-5243. Text the word GATOR to 205-964-5243. But we're going to uh, share a tool here in about 15 minutes, 10 minutes or so. Uh, that um, when I saw it, I was very impressed. And I think you guys will, will also be impressed. Um, so we're going to be, we, uh, I'm trying to solve, like some people try to solve the problem of, um, hunger. I'm trying to solve the problem of not being able to recognize a great real estate deal, especially with houses. Right. So, um, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 12 noon Eastern. I think I spelled that right. Um, we're going to, uh, be comping. Houses, self-storage, multifamily hotels, and vacant land. Uh, houses and self-storage, I'm probably best at. Well, multifamily, too. I'm pretty good at that, too. The hotels, okay. Land, okay. I, I'm enough to be dangerous to get a check. So um, you could join us there by texting group. Now, I was just having it in the Facebook group, but what, what's going to happen in the Facebook group We'll we'll just if you put if you if you're in that group wholesale real estate with the flip man and you post a property you want comped you know we'll comp it in there. I'm trying to make, create some activity you know you know more than that in there but you know that's a, a good place to get stuff comped outside of the um, the live streams or whatever. So but we'll have one tomorrow. We'll mention this a couple of times uh, at 12 noon tomorrow. So 12 noon Eastern, 11 Central. 10 mountain and nine o'clock Pacific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over to you, AP. Okay. I got that really fast. Like I just text group came immediately. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That's that number up. though. Uh, I don't know. Nine, six, four, five, seven. Oh, what's up? yeah. All right. So welcome, guys. Thank you for being here with us on this Thursday. Um, hopefully you all have had time to come into the room, settle down, go ahead and click that like, share, subscribe button. You still have the opportunity to have someone come on with you. That's right, Big Daddy. Let's get it. Um, the Real Terry, Kev Trill Trillionaire, Vanessa Ryans, Neff7. Thank you for being here tonight. Terry Ruiz, ML Monifa, Kathy Wade. We were waiting on you too. You didn't have to wait long tonight, did you? Eugenia, um, Carl, Jerry. Let's see who else do we have in this track. Dreams Made Alive and Beverly Thomas. Thank you all for joining us. Yes, yes, yes. And then Instagram, TikTok. I see you guys as well. Naturally, it's a little harder to read those handle names, but I'll tell you what we're doing here tonight. We're talking about wholesaling real estate with little to no cash or credit and other creative ways to invest into real estate. Huh? You talking to me? No, I'm talking to myself. No. Okay. Um, so you post the questions in the chat there. I'll read the question and Ty will answer the question. He says he has something really nice for you guys tonight. We'll jump into that in about 15 to 20 minutes. But in the meanwhile, we'll go ahead and start reading some of these questions. Instagram, TikTok. TikTok, I know you can't see the screen. If we ever get to a point where we're sharing the screen, you're more than welcome to hop over onto YouTube. You might have a better um, 
sharing yes. experience, streaming experience. Um, but Instagram, you will be able to see the screen as shared. Um, so just make sure you're putting those questions in your chat box there. I will talk to you in the chat. Um, so Prita Baby, who was on Instagram, wants to know, do you buy land that's associated with a buying agent? Um, we, we normally don't target those. Um, the only thing that we'll target similar to that, if it's, um, a mobile home, which normally provides road access and it's 10 plus acres. All right. Ideally. All right. Let's see. Cap trillionaire. Let me scroll down to your if question that's listed. here. All right. So Kev, y'all in the chat, Kev says he needs a buyer for a two family home in North Bergen, New Jersey and Eugenia in our backyard here says I need a buyer for a ready to move in three bedroom, one bath home in Bessemer. Okay. Stick around. Stick around. We'll have a solution for that. All right. All right. Farm and Mike in the house and Terry, you telling me you're from the 305. Is that what that is? I don't know where 305 is. Let me know, though. That's the Miami. I know where the 205 is. Miami, that's Miami. 305? Yeah. 205 is Birmingham, Alabama. It's in that area. <laughs> okay. Um, you're watching from Michigan, Terry. I didn't know that's where you were. Well, thank you. Um, so Cash says, why am, why am I always getting the wrong ARV? Mm -hmm. That's my biggest problem I'm having. I'm frustrated. Can you help me? Ain't that what we here tonight? Well, no, nah, not tonight. That's not tomorrow. Tonight? That's that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. That's tomorrow. So uh, join us tomorrow at um, 12 noon Eastern. And we'll try to get you going. Yeah. All right. There you have it. Um, Kev, make sure you join in. Yeah, that's the number one reason why most wholesalers fail. They don't get that part of it. You know, and that's like everything. You have to be able to um, identify what makes a great deal or not. All right. Doc Motivate from Delaware in the Instagram chat. I see you. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, let's see. Mouse isn't mousing. The real Terry, I see scrolling down. Did you say, can anyone hear Ty? Mic check, mic check, mic check. Can y'all hear us loud and clear? Just put it in the chat uh, and um, let me know. On uh, where? Um, Terry's on YouTube. Okay. Nobody else has said anything, so I don't okay, think so. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Margaret, thank you for being here. Wanda, hey. Precise 612, joining us from Georgia. Jamisa, good evening. Darnell, what's up? World Looker from North Carolina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cass, there he go, there he go. No, Margaret, we're just getting started. You're right on time. Um, Gosi is in the chat. Hey, Gosi. What's up, Go? Yes. Um, let's see here. So Jerry wants to know how long is too long for an end buyer to close? Wow, great question. How long is it too long for um, a end buyer, cash buyer, investor to close? Now, if they're not using any type of uh, private lending or hard money or anything like that, uh, their response should be as soon as I get a clear title, right? So normally that's anywhere from one day to 14, could be longer if there are any issues or depending on the title company. But normally 10 days, I should, I'm expecting them to be able to close and that should be their response. Now, if they have a, uh, a hard money lender or a private lender in place, their process may be a little longer. And so it may be three weeks or so or whatever. So, but generally speaking, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be probably more than three weeks regardless, unless there's an issue with the title or something. All right. I'm Vincent joining us from the 708 Chicago, Chicago, Chi Town. Y'all got Angel Reese up there now. Um, Carl Edmondson, G Brooks from Vegas, uh, Valencia. Hey, um, what is he? Where can I find a buyer for a two bedroom, two bath single family home in Opelika, Alabama? I just got it on contract today. Okay, we're gonna solve so, that problem here it's very shortly. Very shortly. I see. Oh, I see you on Instagram. You're in Kansas. Same thing. All right. Nope, that's on. Yep. Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. All right. Stay posted. Stay close. Um, let's see here. Wendell, Light Striker, Michelle Grace Lynch, Natalie Fonterleroy, Fontleroy. Fontleroy. I don't know what's wrong with that name. Nikisha. 
She married a fine Leroy. Hey, Eric, our movie quote guru. It has been a minute. I have not seen you in a while. And Edwin B. from New York trying to get this money. I'm ready. So Michelle says, how do I acquire genuine cash buyers here in Atlanta? We're going to solve that here. <laughs> we're going to solve that here just a minute. Right. Like, like for real. Right here. Yeah, here we're we're going to solve that like for real. And Terry wasn't telling me that she was from the 305. She was saying it's flipping our 305. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wrong on all that. Yeah. <laughs> but it is not there. So, one of them. So buying houses, Irma wants to know when comping land, you go with the total assessed value, which is 36,000, correct? Or total market value, which is 181,000 and market land value, 14,5. Now, if a, if a house is included in that evaluation, then, you know, you have to separate the two. Now, if it's just land, you're going to go with the total assessed value. Okay. But normally it, it, it distinguishes those out. All right. So on Instagram, the question is, would you ever live in a house that you decided was a good deal with comps to instead live in the property instead of flipping it? Yeah, that's where a lot of, you know, investors find property that they want to live in is through their normal channels of doing deals. So, yeah, that's very common. OK. Uh, let's see here. Charlene, welcome, um, oh, wants to know, can you explain how the closing process works? Is it like a regular closing? Can I explain how the closing process works? Is it like a regular closing? She must, she has to be referring to something, right? Um, just how the and, closing and, process and, and, works. So let's just say a double close. Okay, a double close is basically, all right, so that's to define what closing is. No, 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 no. We got that. Okay. Uh, this time. I thought we did it. We did it that time. Um, but a double closing um, is um, well. Let's just find what a closing is. That's where the sale of a property is executed, right? Is when it all goes down. When the seller and the buyer sign the paperwork, the buyer puts up the funds, whether it's through a lender or their money or a combination of both to purchase the property. They sign the necessary uh, paperwork to, to uh, sell the property, to, to change ownership. That's a closing, all right? In the world of wholesaling, we use, to get paid sometimes, we use a double closing for a number of reasons. Most people try to use it to uh, prevent the seller and the buyer or one of the two from knowing how much you're making on the deal. All right, so you, you'll you buy it first, and then an hour, maybe two hours later or the next day, you'll sell it to the buyer for the difference, the upsell amount. That's it, and that's the basics of it. But I don't even know if that's what she was really asking or not, though. Okay, let me scroll down and see if there's any follow-up. No, I don't see, but Monifa is from the 305. All right, that's I what's got somebody. Um, um, got hey. Hey, what, what did uh what my boy said on uh color purple? Oh, Co I said color purple. Okay. Co color purple when um <laughs> when when you know when Suge came you know and mm -hmm. did her thing with mm -hmm. him, the, the first time she came mm -hmm. and then when she was leaving and you know they were both you know waving a goodbye and stuff mm -hmm. and he was saying you 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 big in in Chicago Suge or something he was saying to her what was he saying I d I don't know yeah I, I was going to try to say that for me in in Miami. Or whatever, but somebody know, somebody knows what I'm talking about. When they when they were leaving the train, when Michelle was getting on the train and Mister was running after her, he would say, "He big, he's gonna be big in Chicago or something like that." Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm figure that part. Somebody out. knows, like somebody knows, and I'm, yeah. I'm gonna figure that part out. But like, <laughs> I just googled. What is, what is it? No, 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 no. I didn't find it, but it's like 10 quotes. It, whatever I pulled up said it oh, okay. was 10 quotes from Color Purple. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'll bust Mr. Head open and worry about heaven later. Yeah. 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 I'm going to bust him across the head. We do not promote violence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, unless you should, Gabriel. Let me see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me go into the next one. Charlene, if that did not answer your question, just be sure to correct me and let me know, and then I'll follow up. Now, Precise 612 wants to know about land. So you don't target land from an LLC company? 
Um, I don't say we don't, but it makes it more difficult a lot of times to find that owner or what I'm not saying we won't. Mm -hmm. We can find that decision maker. Yeah, most definitely. But uh, that's one of the reasons people put properties or real estate into business entities is to keep you from calling them. (laughs) That's one of the reasons and the reason, one of the reasons. Okay. Um, so Michelle wants to know what is the script for approaching a potential home seller on a wholesale deal? So I know you shared that last week. Shared the yeah. Scripts. Um, yeah. You, if you text, um, uh, group, uh, that'll give you access to the face, Facebook group, wholesale real estate with the flames, with, with the, with the flip man. And, uh, you can go into the actual group and, um, you can, um, uh, under files, once you get in the group, you'll see those scripts there for land, houses, and self storage. Okay. That you could download and use. Uh, let's see here. Hey. Is. Okay. There he is right there. All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, get right into it. Uh, time is money. So I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, uh, Daniel up. From uh, InvestorBase.com. Uh, he's here to show you guys an amazing tool that'll help you to um, find cash buyers quickly with phone numbers, which is probably the most impressive thing. Uh, and so um, we'll get right into it. How's it going, Dane? Absolutely. Ty, can you hear me? Oh yeah, we're we're live, man. Let's, let's get it. We're Beautiful live. Beautiful, Bella. I appreciate you having me on. Um, to everybody on this call at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern time, props to you. Um, you're a you're a trooper here for following this guy in the battle at nine o'clock p.m. I'm sure, y'all got a lot going on. So uh, it's that sacrifice that takes your business one step further. Appreciate the grind. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, I I talked with Ty the other day. Uh, this is a brand new software that we've been working on for about eight months. Um, it is a disposition tool for wholesalers and it's called investor base. Um, reason we created this is because in our business, we've been wholesaling for five years. Um, we were spread across multiple markets and we kind of, we never really had a disposition process, truly disposition process. Um, like many people probably out there, we were out there spending, all of our money on acquisitions, um, leads and agents and VAs. And I took a look at it and we were spending zero dollars on the disposition side of the business. Um, Mm -hmm. Ty, you might agree with this, but I think dispositions is way overlooked uh, as a part of a full functioning wholesale business. Um, So that's why we are where we are now. And that's why we created this product. we identified the problem that we had, which was, you know, way over levers on acquisitions and zero dollars on dispositions. But there was no software out there catered to uh, an affordable disposition software. There wasn't anything out there. Um, so without sugarcoating it or anything else, I'll just jump right in. Um, time I get you to go, present. my. Yeah, screen. if you go down there where it says present, you'll see the options there. Okay, good deal. All right, can you see me here? Uh, yeah, let me add it here. All right, boom, there we go. Perfect. So everyone on this call, uh, this is Investor Base. This is a disposition tool that we have just recently created. Ty, do you have a chat box in there? I'm gonna get one of someone on this call to run a subject search in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we do. Uh, did anybody place any addresses in there? They they were saying they needed a, uh, a before we started cost. just because of the title of the video. I got a property in uh, such as I need a buyer for blah blah. blah. I don't think they placed any the addresses. No one actually placed an address. Someone drop an address for me, really. Quick. Well, I can give them an address. You know, uh, well, first the first deal I ever did, twelve thirty two eighteen Place Southwest, Birmingham. You got to repeat the eighteenth. Yeah, one two three two eighteenth Place. Southwest Birmingham, Alabama. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to search this address. The default filters are going to be two miles to 10 or two miles in one year. So we'll just go ahead and press search. 
So what the software is doing is it is analyzing every single transaction across the entire United States, but it is taking into account every transaction within two miles in one year of this subject property. From there, it's going to identify which of those transactions was actually a flip and which ones was actually a, a buy and hold by a landlord. We take that, we identify the actual flipper or the landlord, the person, and then we take that and we identify their phone number and contact information. And we just, voila, produce this onto a beautiful map here. Um, so I'll zoom in for you. This is nationwide. Um, and it is essentially a buyer's list uh, or a traveling buyer's list, I'll say. Um, this is a smart list of buyers who we know are actively buying in this area and are actively buying currently because they've recently done a deal within two miles in one year. So the green icon is going to be a landlord and the blue icon is going to be a flipper. And the actual location is their specific deal. So this is what this, the results look like for uh, when you're, you're getting buyer results. If you click into their actual deal, um, you'll be able to see what they bought it for, what they sold it for, when they bought it, when they sold it, what their name is. And of course, we provide the wireless one, wireless two, and their landline number to immediately call them. Over here on this right side, well, I guess I'll take a step back. So just in this two mile, one year search, we have 147 results for buyers just like that um, in the click of a button. So major implementations that users are loving right now is for rural deals. So deals that you that your acquisition team would probably pass on simply because you don't have buyers there. Don't pass on them any longer. Uh, do not pass on them until you pop that deal into investor base and you identify some buyers and at least see what they're paying. Um, number two, consistently adding to your buyer's list. Um, if you've been in a market for 10 years and you think you have a robust buyer's list, um, I just challenge you to put this software to the test and start to look and see if you actually know all the names of the buyers actually doing deals in your market. Um, we have some users that have been stabilized in one market for over 10 years that are adding two to three buyers to their list um, with every search. Um, on this right side, so what we did is we've come from access to 10 million investors nationwide, which is great, but how are you going to call 10 million investors in one day for one deal? You're not, they're not buying there. So we created a niche list. Um, and from that niche list, let's say of these 147 results, that's still a lot of people to call from. Um, so what we did is we trained an AI model to identify who is most likely to buy this specific deal. Um, so on this right side on the list view, you'll see a smart match feature. If it has a smart match icon, they are very likely to buy their deal based off the property that they just recently did. And that is solely property characteristics um, and their actual transaction history. This whole list on the right side is sorted from most likely to buy your deal to least likely to buy a deal. And of course, everything in here is skip traced, which is the greatest part. There's zero additional cost for skip tracing. Um, so for you to even go and pull this data and run 10, 15 searches, like say you're pulling from prop stream to scrape a list, and then you're having to go and do another step and skip trace it, you're likely going to be spending more simply in skip tracing property data uh, to do a couple of deals and pull buyers uh, than you would for even paying for the subscription of this software. Um, so it's a super powerful tool um, and has a ton of implementations that I won't get into all of them right now, Ty. Um, but that's the high level view of just running a search. Um, I've never been to Birmingham. Oh, I have been to Birmingham. I worked in Birmingham for a little bit, uh, but I've never been to this specific place. I don't know any buyers here. Uh, you know, I would have no idea how to move this deal right now uh, unless I were to JV it with somebody and give up 50% of the profits or, you know, I have no idea. I, I would have no idea how to move it um, without investor base. Uh, so any deal, any market, um, you know, you're not bound by any limits anymore of, 
you know, taking years and years of relationships to build a buyer's list, um, you have it here in the software. Um, go well, ahead, Todd. So that, Any that, questions? That, that, just hit me with it. If yeah. I'm going off on a tangent, just, yeah. just roll yeah. it. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. Let's do one. Uh, just did a deal um, uh, with the, uh, the owner. We've become good friends, but we did a deal in Los Angeles. Uh, well, Long Beach, actually. Uh, 134 uh, East market street and natasha you on here what's up um long beach california but it was a fourplex so i want i just want you to show the property type differences there also okay. yeah so we can so we have multiple property types in here so real quick type for anybody doing solely land um you can do just do a land fi filter and what you're going to get back is you're going to get uh, list of results for developers, you know, new home builders, custom home builders. Um, we have mobile homes. We have solely mobile home uh, users on here, but we'll run a little search for Ty on multi. What I'm going to do, Ty, I'm going to run this out. Multi deals are a little bit more scarce. So I'm going to expand the filters to make sure we get a little bit more results here. I'm going to run it back three years. Are you going to still keep flippers and landlord? Just want to show that you can just target one oh, or the right. other or obviously both. Yeah. So if you did want to toggle between flippers or landlords, say you think, hey, this is definitely a flip deal, probably wouldn't be good as a rental. You know, you can change the buyer type to solely be flippers if you if you wanted to. OK, I see how uh, you, you extended the range out to five miles, uh, the search period, three years, because it's just not as many uh, multifamily opportunities as it is houses. And um, like I say, we kept the flippers and landlords on that too, though. So, Yeah, typically. Typically, there's, I mean, just in any scenario, there's probably going to be less multi than, than single family. Yeah. But I mean, mm -hmm. just like that, if you have a multifamily deal, I mean, you got 120 results in the click of a finger. Um, for active buyers that are buying uh, within five miles in the last three years. So if we click on one for a landlord, you get how many mm -hmm. link properties they actually have, which is pretty nice. Uh, on this right side, if you hover over someone, if they have a four icon, that's the number of, that's the number of, trend, of times that they've appeared in this list of results. So wow, you can see okay. how, many, how many deals somebody's actually done in five miles in three years. And obviously you mm. see, it highlights it. You can see exactly where they were. So, okay. I, yeah. I was wondering what that meant. So that means that's how many times based on the search criteria that they purchased. Yeah. And that would, that would be weighted fairly high to mm -hmm. uh, produce them as a smart match. So that's, that's factored into a smart match. Um, but what that call looks like is uh, to say Joshua, for instance, Joshua's bought one, two, three, and then he had a fourth one over here as a landlord. It would be, hey, Joshua, this is Daniel McClam. Uh, I saw that you actually bought some rentals right around the corner uh, on 276 East 55th Street. Um, how are you doing today? Doing great, Daniel. Yeah, doing great, blah, blah, blah. Um, hey, Joshua, I actually have a property available uh, about two streets away from you on East Market Street. Um, just calling to see if you'd be interested in buying another rental. Um, he says, yes, sure, you get his email. Um, and we are absolutely going to contact that person uh, to schedule showings, et cetera, et cetera. But what you have here, Ty, is I've been advising everyone that's using the software before you even price a deal to sell and dispo it out there at a certain price. Do not mm -hmm. do that until you come into Investor Lift and you see what investors are paying for properties nearby. Um, yeah, that's like that's like um, I guess you would say reverse wholesaling in a sense to see before you even lock yourself into a deal, you have enough data here in a most in a lot of cases, especially like a market like this in in that Southern California, Los Angeles, Long Beach area, um, that you know what they're willing to pay, right? Because you didn't even if you click on the Zillow icon there, guys, you uh, if you'll show them, Daniel. It'll it'll actually pull up, you know, whatever what's existing on Zillow right now. It may not be the um, current photo, but it, it may give you a lot of ideas on it or whatever. Right. So I got some stuff in my way here, but um, yeah. So it's great to audit flips too. Um, multi's a little bit tricky sometimes. 
um, with any single family, typically when you're clicking into a flip, you can tell, hey, this was flipped. I, I think you it. may not be sharing your entire screen. Uh, okay, I got you. Sorry, I was I was clicking on the Zillow link there. Um, yeah. But obviously, you have up here in this top corner, you can click on the Zillow link, you can audit um, if it was a flip. Uh, but Ty, yeah, great point. Leverage. I mean, leverage is key. You know, you're making a specialized call to a buyer that you know is buying. The best part is you know exactly what he paid for that for that property. Mm. Um, oh yeah. Also on the acquisition front. I mean, plenty of acquisition implementations in here for your agents. Uh, you know, say you don't know whether it's a deal or not, right? Hey, it might be a little bit tight. You know, before you spend the time to contract that and go through the whole process of trying to dispo it, there's no there's no limits in here to searches. You have unlimited searches, and uh, you don't have to have it under contract, right? This is a this is an identification tool. Um, so if your acquisition agent says, hey. You know, do I contract this? Do I not? Hey, pop it into investor base, see what people are paying around there. And if you see somebody that paid a little bit more than somebody else, go ahead and call that person and say, hey, Joshua, I have this deal around the corner. Would you be interested? You don't have to give them any specifics, um, but it's a good way to pre-dispo, as I would call that um, from a past life when I was selling to hedge funds. We used to, uh, we used to reverse engineer pretty hard on uh, getting numbers before we contracted. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, that's one of the things that I'm saying. You really, even though you can always try to run your numbers, but uh, it's like you're seeing the future if you can, if you know what they're willing to pay. Right. And you have their contact information. Right. To have that conversation. Uh, let them know that you have a property nearby. And, you know, why did you buy, you know, that property or whatever? You might not get into what they paid for, but they know it's public record or whatever. And uh, because sometimes the condition may matter on what they pay versus another property. But um, ideally, uh, you, you could try to see a pattern if you have enough uh, activity in a particular area like we do right here. It's over 120 results there. So um, you should be able to figure that out. Absolutely. And Ty, how, how much time do I have? Do I have time to show the CRM? Oh, so no, we, man, we, we, we normally go an hour and a half. We're only, well, when you started, we were only 15 minutes in. So it's your, okay. it's your show, baby. Let's get it. Good deal. All right. So for anybody that's a solo dojo, a solo warrior out there um, on their own, they're doing all their own dispo. They're doing all their own TC. If you have two disposition managers and you have three VAs on the dispo side, if you have 25 employees working at your company, doesn't matter. What we realized early on is at any point with any disposition uh, side of a wholesale business is it's really hard to keep track of who's interested, who's not interested, who told you they wanted to make an offer, who said they wanted to come see it, who looked like a good buyer, but they didn't pick up uh, all types of sorts of stuff. So we realized pretty quickly that we needed to add some CRM functionality. So if you click on this My Deal section up here in the top right, and we'll use the Birmingham deal as an example. So this is where all of your deals that you're actively working are gonna be stored. Um, now, very minimal CRM functionality, I will say, but it's enough to comfortably keep track of the deals that you're working on. So we have searching for buyer, buyer found, assigned, closed. When you click into the specific deal, this is where all of your results are gonna be stored. So for that first search, we had 147 results. When you scroll down, these are going to be where all of your results are stored. So say we talk to Sherry Ross uh, or your disposition manager does or your uh, VA talks to Sherry Ross, whoever's in charge of making these calls to draw up interest for your deal. We want to be able to track this. So when we click in Sherry Ross, spoke with Sherry she is interested we're going to mark her as interested right and you speak with jessica jessica does not pick up the phone no answer voicemail we call sherry ross sherry ross sherry ross a lot of sherry ross Luis. Oh, she's doing it <laughs> she's killing yeah. it over there okay. I, would definitely, I would definitely call her um yeah Luis wants to walk the property we're going to mark her as says 60 properties she has 60 properties wow okay yeah 5.8 portfolio value mm, nice that's Pretty a lot of great information right guys yeah 
so what happens is the notes populate here. Their March is interested. So whenever you're done calling everybody or say you have what you think is a comfortable amount of interested buyers, you can come up here to the top, filter by interested, and bang, this is when whoever's next in line in charge, whether it's your TC or whether it's you as a display manager, once you have a safe, comfortable list of uh, interested investors, now is when we're going to start collecting offers. We're going to start setting up showings. We're going to start setting up inspections. Um with a comfortable list of people who have indicated that they're interested. Um, so there's multiple different like standard operating procedures I can think of that uh, when you hop on a demo with our team, um, we want to know who you are. We want to know what markets you're in. We want to know what your current disposition process is. We want to know what your team looks like. We want to know what A, B, C, D looks like from getting to under contract to closing. And we are going to... The, hold your hand and, and walk you through exactly the best way to use this product to uh, implement it in your business and, and, and be successful right off the bat. Um, one thing that we implemented here is the ability to download this as a CSV. I can't show it to you because I'm sharing my screen on this page. Um, but essentially, this is great if you want to pop this into a dialer. Uh, if you want to pop this into an SMS campaign, uh, you can do it just like that. And once again, you can still track interested buyers in the CRM while you call those people. Um, you can you can go from uh, the type I, I noticed when I was messing around with it on yesterday from flipper to uh, landlord. If if you have both of those selected. Right. Um, no, really? back, no, back, back, back to the my deals uh, screen um, where it says uh, type right there to the bot right there to the left where uh below the the chart there you know just below that a little bit yeah right there yeah you can tell I, I i had no idea you could even do that wow. <laughs> okay yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah you're you're all over it man so i, I have a partner in this business who's uh the tech the guy. Tech. yeah 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 because way smarter than i am um i'm just on the on the sales front a humble salesman but uh yeah, he's he's done a lot in here, some of which I don't even know. But we're 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 adding new features every day. Um, Ty, I'd like to just answer you know common questions that we have uh, or how gets the data. Well, well yeah, let, let's go back and one one more thing. We were about to show okay. it. Um, if we go back to the buyer search, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, if you you get the buyer typo, that you can go between landlord and when and uh, flipper if you want. We did yeah. searches on both that you can do go back and forth if you want. So yeah, and you just rerun this search. So let's run it single family one year, one mile, flippers yeah. only. Yeah. You're gonna get flippers only. It doesn't look like there's a lot of flips here, anyways. Um, so you'll probably have minimal results, but that's the reason we have the expanded search capabilities so that you can get a comfortable amount of results. Um so yeah, we only got uh, five results and a one mile one. Year. Five in there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Okay. Heavy, heavy, heavy rental area, but that's good because uh, landlords normally pay more because it's a long term play. Right. So this guy bought this for four sixty. It's a three month hold. Sold it for seven seventy. Ah, mm. crap! I keep forgetting y'all can't see Zillow, but it yeah. is fun. It, it's fun to uh, just click on the Zillow and be like, "Wow, he did a good job with that one. This guy's legit." Mm. Or mm. you know, this is a luxury type deal. Um, probably best fit for a luxury type flipper because the rehab's three hundred k. You don't want to send that to somebody who's buying a house at 550k so that's why we have the smart match filters for you nice. um, but uh ty if i can answer i guess common questions i get um classic just like with uh, anything else in this business right people want to know if the data is good um okay. I, I can tell you that uh, the property data is spot on um it's all live none of this is stored data so my uh, partner, Jack, might get mad at me for telling you all this, but uh, every time you run a search, it costs us money <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's live data. So if you if somebody sold a property yesterday, it gets recorded at the um, Registrar of Deeds, um, it's going to populate in this system the next day. Uh, and we'll keep it like that till the day we die. It's all live. Um, it's, the, it's the same data that any of the bigger players are going to be getting as far as property data goes. 
on the skip tracing side, um, we, we have a skip tracing software built into this system. Um, we are running about a 90% surge or 90% hit rate on individuals and a 65% hit rate on LLCs. Um, so I would say, you know, when we started our skip tracing company, which is separate from this, uh, it's called skip people. Um, our initial value proposition to, uh, the skip tracing industry was that we skip trace LLCs better than anybody else. Um, I stand by that. Uh, we've purchased secretary of state access across all 50 states. Um, and we do have a proprietary basically backup skip tracing model where other skip tracers, if they don't get a hit at first, um, they leave it quits. Uh, we have a, a backup, uh, essentially like a, a backup safe, uh, like if functionality, um, to where if you don't get a result, we, we have a backup model. That's pretty damn accurate. Um, nice. All right. We got a few questions. Uh, if you're good with it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. What we got? All right. So from a Facebook user, they want to know, is this software only available for laptop desktop use? Is it mobile? So great question. Um, we do not have an app on the app store, right? If you did go on your phone, it does work. Um, we've been mindful uh, in the development process to um, have it work cross platform to your, to your cell phone. Um, some of the functionality uh, offset that I've noticed uh, is when you try and click into um, an actual deal icon, uh, it doesn't pop up. But if you're driving in your car, or if you don't have access to a laptop, um, you can still use this software and you can scroll just like this on the right side. You can still see the map view. Uh, you still have the phone numbers. You still have everything you need um, just with a little less functionality as of right now. All right. Thank you for answering that question. Um, next up is from Wendell. Um, they say, I see that this is a prescription model. Do you have to commit to a certain time frame, say for one year at a time? No, great question. Uh, actually, the complete opposite. Um, guys, we are we are so new. Um, I mean, Ty, you're 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 one of the first dudes that we've reached out to about this. I mean, this is blue ocean right now. We actually um, it, it's a seven day free trial to start. Um, it is two plans. So we have a monthly plan and an annual plan monthly, which is month to month. No contract uh, is two hundred and fifty dollars a month. If you do the annual, it's only $200 a month. Um, but you do have to, if you do annually, it does bill you up front at the end of the seven day free trial, which would be $2,400 up front. And then you have access for a full year. A, a, a pinch of one deal. And the guys, uh, um, with them reaching out to me, they uh, offered a special promo on the first month, $100 off. If you use the code, promo code FLIP, F L I P, FLIP. If you go to uh, investorbase.com, use promo code FLIP, you get $100 off the first month. Okay. Okay. So I know you just did a home, right? The next question is Will this work for land and will the list include the buyer's emails? Yep. If they, um, so, Emails, well, I guess that's that's a two part question. I was gonna ask them if they want, wanted to run a land search. Ty, if we have time, I'm happy to run a land search real quick. Yeah, um, uh, look up. Uh, let me see. Um, look up. Um, I got some addresses in here, but I don't think they're land. They're not land. No. I, let me let me see one. Uh, um, hold on a second. He works. Um, let me, let me get out of this real quick. Um, but she has some addresses in there. Let, let her look up a couple of those while I pull a land one. Um, um so yeah, these are homes. 19480 Asbury Park. And that's in Detroit. Okay. While this is searching, what was that? Uh, what was the other question? I'm sorry. The second part. Um, it was in regards to email addresses. Got it. Uh, the emails are going under an audit at the moment. 
So we do provide email addresses, uh, as you'll see if we get one in here, I can show you. So we do get emails back. Um, we have removed these from the CSV export at this time, simply because we're we're doing a data audit on those. Um, we want to make sure that that they're clean and accurate. Um, and I'll just shoot you straight. Uh, emails are tough to get. Um, they're 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 tough to get right through um, through any skip tracer. To be honest with you, um, what we've done is um, where's I going with that? Sorry, I just lost my train of thought because I was looking at these results. Um, what as far as God dang, I'm trying to think. I was about to say something on the emails. Um, oh yeah. So one of the next features that we'll be rolling out, which you know, from just talking with existing users, we think will be extremely valuable, is we don't want our users to have to rebuild the wheel every time they come in here and run a search. So what we're going to do, Ty, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you or not, but we're going to have a my list section up here okay. where whatever markets you're in, when you click into, say, my list, this will look like each market you're in. So say mm -hmm. Detroit, L.A., Birmingham, and it's going to have uh, the buyers that you've saved on the platform in here. And within okay. that, you can add that person's email manually. Um, so that way you're. And, and that's only going to live in your login, right? So that's only going to be ac accessible to you. Um, but so if you have a conversation with somebody who's a vetted buyer, they say they're interested, you're going to want to heart that person. We'll have a heart button over here and they're going to be added to that list in that market. And you can take notes on their buy box uh, and you can add their email there. Um, but we expect to probably have emails back live for CSV functionality, probably about two or three weeks. Um, so with this land search, okay. I, would, I would I would immediately. Well, no, that that yeah, that one was the land. Uh, was. It was it okay, was okay, all right, cool. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, now you're good. Um, I, I would just immediately span this out, um, and and that's why we have the capability to span this out even further. Is just because you know sometimes maybe there's not that many land deals going on. Um, well, it's also on flippers only, so that's probably why. Sometimes um, if somebody has bought land and say they're building on it um, or it's, you know, it's, say it's a, um, like a developer or a new home builder and they're actively building on it, um, it'll mark as a landlord because it's a non-occupied property and it hasn't resold yet, right? Um, yeah, so what you get is... Now, just for someone, me just uh, doing a few land deals and just dealing with it on a day-to-day -day basis, um, a lot of these just going to be regular people that are by land, and they have all types of reasons beyond building. <laughs> Let me just say sure. that. So um, I, I, I know that's actually better. There are actually better buyers than developers because their process is not as lengthy or whatever. They'll pull the trigger a lot faster. So. Yeah. And for whatever reason, you know, maybe they just have too much money, right. Or it's an appreciation mm -hmm. play for them. Um, mm -hmm. or they plan on building out at some point. Uh, I mean, you get no shortage of buyers here. Um, yep. oh. and, I, and, and on that note, I will say this isn't the same list that you're pulling on prop stream cash buyers. Uh, it's not. Um, I mean, sometimes within prop stream, if you filter by cash buyers, you're not going to get people who did hard money lending. Um, so for a lot of the people out there that are flipping, I'm sure a lot of people are using debt or getting hard money and those are being recorded as a mortgage. Um, sometimes they're, they're populated as a cash buyer on prop stream, um, but oftentimes they're not. Uh, so we're, you know, we're, 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 we're blind to that. We're not, we're not factoring that in. We just want to know who's actually doing deals um, regardless of the debt that they have in place or equity. Nice. So, uh, what is that? 118 results. There's a buyer yeah, in there yeah. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you can tell, you can see zero square feet. I mean, let's, I forget, y'all can't see my Zillow link, but I'm yeah, you would have to uh, just stop the sharing and, and do your entire screen for them to see that or whatever, or at least your, um, your Chrome, um, uh, browser. Yeah. 
you would absolutely yeah i mean all it is it's 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 all good it's what you would imagine i mean i just clicked yeah. on that one and it's just a a pile of dirt it's just a <laughs> lot um but you can tell i mean zero square feet uh so all of these have a zero improvement value when they were mm. purchased there's a zero improvement value um so obviously Oftentimes when you assess a real estate property, you know, it's going to be split between improvement value. Um, so if there's an actual structure on it um, and then land value. Oh, let's address um, the uh, non-disclosure states, uh, Texas, Mississippi, I think Missouri, and then another eight or so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so a lot of people want to know, so I'll lead to that tie. Um, a, a lot of people know, well, hey, how are you, how are you assuming this person's a flipper? How are you assuming this person's a landlord? Um, you know, Jack, maybe get mad at me again, but uh, I'll just share it with you. Um, it's okay. You know, more knowledge is, is, is better for everybody to be successful. Uh, to qualify as a flipper, you have to have bought and sold that property within 12 months. And uh, it has to have been bought and sold for a certain margin. So a certain gain. So if somebody bought a property for a hundred thousand, um, sold it six months later for less than a hundred thousand, they're not going to populate in here. You know, we don't want to provide buyers to you that lost money on a deal, or we assume lost money on a deal. That said with non-disclosure States, um, with our algorithm, how it is now, um, we don't, we don't receive the, uh, purchase price or the sale price for non-disclosure, non-disclosure States. So Texas, Oklahoma, uh, et cetera, uh, you know, Mississippi, um, but we're working on simply removing that piece of the algorithm to produce a flipper. Um, so right now, all you get is landlords and non-disclosure states. Um, but, you know, that's that's top priority for our development team. And uh, we'll have flippers probably in like two weeks. So um, but once again, it'll just be on the on the time frame for those flippers. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. What else we got? Um, let's see here. So what if, okay, this is Dionica. What if it's in Texas and you can't see how much they pay for the land or home? Do you just ask once you talk to them? Um, so I guess that'd be for you. Just to uh, no, <laughs> I guess you can ask. You can always ask them what they pay, but knowing people are not going to tell you that. But okay. um, I, more so in those, in those uh, and, and you could correct me, uh, Dang, but uh, you just want to see that they're active, that they actually purchased. Right. Right. You still run. You, you just at that point, run your numbers and hopefully it falls in there. And then they'll tell you, you know, the market, if you do enough of it, if you get enough activity, reach out to enough buyers. You start you'll start to start to hit the same things. Right. And so you'll soon know where you are for as uh, pricing. We yeah, have several and, people in the chat here who are really interested in this. Um, Winston says this is fire. How does this work <laughs> in non-disclosure state? So we just talked about that a little bit. Um, yep. so another question that I have, is there like a pause feature, um, for the subscription? So if I needed it from May, June, July, I'm traveling, not going to use it. Can I just pick right back up in August with where I left off in May? Sure. Uh, I mean, if you say you sign up May 1st and you get through the seven day free trial and it's May 8th and we charge a credit card for that month, say you cancel on May 8th you're still going to have access till the end of May. Um, so it doesn't cut off access immediately. You're still going to have access for that 30 day period. Um, and then obviously it, it would terminate your access then. And if you want to sign back up, no harm, no foul. Okay. All right. Um, well, again, guys, uh, if you want to sign up for it, take advantage of the hundred dollars off the first month. Uh, just simply use the promo code FLIP. If you go to investorbase.com, FLIP, F-L-I-P, not FLIP man, but just FLIP. Uh, you can uh, get that $100 off the first month uh, by using that promo code. Um, but that was it pretty much on the questions or? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything else, Dan, you think we missed uh, that maybe is commonly asked? asked? Um, no, I just say, uh, for anybody interested in just signing up directly on, uh, the website, I would, I would highly recommend, 
um, just go ahead and book in a demo with our team. Um, whether you start the trial and then do book a demo, um, we want to know we want to know what your business model is. Uh, we we want to be able to. I mean, we're, we're we really want to offer a type of white glove service to start. Um, and and we want to check in with you on the third day of your trial. We want to check in with you on the sixth day of your trial. Um, we want to make sure we understand your disposition process and that we can point this software in the right direction uh, to fill it exactly how you need to use it. Um, Cause it's going to be different, different implementations for everybody based on team size and, and current dispo process. So I'd highly recommend that. Boom guys. So uh, you can book a demo with them before you would even sign up for the, uh, the five day free trial, even though you've had hand, you know, a pretty, good demonstration right uh tonight or whatever so uh if you still would like that one-on-one um uh hand holding uh to make sure you under because i know everyone's level of you know using tech is different so uh but you know if you can't see the value in this i'm not sure i was like blown away when he okay so his partner jack reached out to me through uh instagram he sent me access to log in i didn't even get past the um uh the how it works page uh if i show you right here the uh how how it works page i didn't even get past that and as i said what can we take a, what can we do a, a, a zoom meeting you know i didn't even sign it because i already knew i know i know what is already out there and then i see this the simplicity of it i know is like I don't even know what price. Oh, there's another competitor out there. What they charge three or four grand a month for something similar. Yeah. So you have investor left. Uh, I mean, their, their bottom tier is 500 and I think their top tier is, I know it's $50,000 a year. <laughs> so. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my, my key word at the beginning when we started this software was to provide an affordable uh, disposition. Software. Yeah. So, uh, so, but, but, but if you, if you understand the access to those type of individuals, investors, people that have money, those relationships can turn into more than just someone you wholesale a property to. Cause a lot of times these guys are looking for other opportunities. It could turn into more than them. Hope you receive a wholesale and a house to them. Those guys get into multifamily self storage, uh, warehousing, other forms of real estate also. And a lot of times they just need that offer made to them. They've been thinking about it. Like I uh, met an investor today that, you know, we dealt with and it was their first self storage uh, facility that they purchased and they've been in houses for over 20 years or whatever. So, but you know, the deal that we had fit what they were looking for. So, um, but having this much access, ease of access, that's the main thing. Having that contact information is amazing. And that conversation having with someone offering them to make money versus when you're calling sellers, trying to get them to give up some equity is a, is a different conversation, you know, cause the seller, the buyer side I always said is, is the, uh, I'm giving away money and the seller side, I'm asking you for money. It's always easier to give away money than it is to uh, get someone to give it to you. So. Uh, but enough of me yapping. Uh, dang, anything else you want to share, man, before you uh, uh, get out of here? I'm good, man. I just uh, appreciate y'all giving me the time to take a look at it. I look forward to um, giving a demo to hopefully as many people as possible, um, really trying to grow this thing. And I, I think we can provide value to everybody and hope, hopefully people see that. Love it, so man. Appreciate it. Can't wait. We'll we'll end up. Uh, Daniel, I'll end up doing a video where I um, record all of it. It'll just be a recorded version of this. Um, but you know, this is up. It, this is what this particular flipping art three hundred five was for. For this demo, of this this amazing tool. So again, thanks, Daniel. You know, you know, you and I'll be talking. Absolutely, appreciate it. I'll see you guys. Look forward to all talking right, with all. Bye. Have a good night. See you yes, guys. Sir. Boom. Then he said you had him up past his bedtime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't, <laughs> made, he can't believe we're going this late, huh? <laughs> Someone in the chat said, oh, we don't care if it's midnight. We're going to be here. I don't know about that. You be here by yourself. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. So uh, what, what do you think, AP? It was a lot. 
to take in, but like, I know like once you dive into the data and, and know how to, you know, translate that into sellers or buyers, whatever great is, is, is going to be awesome. Like it's good. And then, you know, for those that are talking about the price tag, yeah, you get the first month for a hundred dollars off. You get the seven day demo, then off the first month, you get a hundred dollars. So off. So you have the opportunity to for less money, really get to use it now. You waste well, that 30 days and I I I I I I want people to understand that you talk about virtual wholesaling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the ultimate tool for virtual wholesaling because mm -hmm. you have one part of it figured out. Now you have individuals out there posting deals everywhere and they don't they're not coming close to getting a buyer. The opportunity for you is number one, a tool like this, you know what a buyer is willing to pay. You'll have multiple examples of that in a particular area of a market. Nothing prevents you from reaching out to another wholesaler in a different city. Say, hey, man, I see you got this house at such a, they're not going to pay that. Can you get the seller down to X, Y, Z? If you can, I have a, I'll, I'll have a buyer for it. Mm -hmm. You just sit there and do that all day. Now, you want to paper up to make sure you're in the transaction, but you do that all day, all over the country. Like he said, in a lot of areas, of, if any of you all have done a great deal of marketing, some of you all live in smaller towns or rural areas, it's hard to find buyers. But what this tool will do, you just extend out. You extend out your mileage. Mm -hmm. I would extend out 10 miles, and it'll go up to 10 years of transactions. Because it's so hard for people that do have those resources in small towns or real rural areas, there's not enough opportunities. But now you can see who's purchased 10 miles in a 10 mile radius over the last 10 years. So now where you normally couldn't probably move a property like that, boom, you can, especially with land. And that's probably the most attractive thing to me about it or whatever, because of the, uh, the, the, uh, the distance you can go and the time frame you can go back with land because it's a little different than houses for the the, the uh, number of transactions or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, powerful tool, powerful. And and I tried. I'm, I'm not gonna mention which one because I'm affiliated with multiple services mm -hmm. to get them to come up with something like this. Mm -hmm. I was ignored. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I knew I knew the technology was there. You know what I'm saying? To do something that the simplicity of this, they've done a good job and they got a lot more features coming on to make it even more user friendly and valuable to you. But, you know, what do I know? You know what I'm saying? I'm a little techie. So because um, Steve Jobs code or he really could code, but not on the level on the stuff that they produce. I'm sure he could. He had to have some. But I think he was more the yeah the idealist. And I know we can do it. I might can't do it. Mm -hmm. But I know it could be done. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so, um, yeah. So, so we, quick we, question: yeah. the hundred dollars um, off the first month using the promo code Flip. Yeah. By traveling to InvestorBase. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. Right. Is there a limited time on that promo code? No, nah, I don't suppose to be. Okay. Okay. There you go, Margaret. The question was: Are you able to purchase this at a later time? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. That's so, nice. yeah. Okay. So, if you put this tool, oh, this is going to be one. Mm -hmm. We know you have a lot of tools in your chest, and you're, yep. and they're not cheap tools either. Nope. Right? <laughs> nope. Absolutely not. But they're worthy tools. Yep. If you said, if you said, I really need this tool. Yep. No, no, no doubts about it. Yep. I have to have it in my chest. What tool in your chest? Do you think you could take out now? What, 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 because I don't want to offend. Gotcha. No in mind. a relation, because I know these people personally, okay. right? You know what I'm saying? Especially a couple of them I know, like the owners perfectly. Mm -hmm. I will, cool. I will not disclose that information. Okay. So, but, but, but no, 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 and I so, and, and on top of this, what I was mm -hmm. thinking, because you know that price point of it's two, well, uh, the uh, two fifty a month, basically. Right. Partner with five people. You know, that's the power of social media. Y'all all pay $50 Netflix a month. Them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> partner, partner with, you know, you and somebody else. Partner with someone and you all share share access. 
or whatever. Before you know it, you know you can't live without it because it's making you money. That's the whole objective. It'll be a drop in the B-U-C-K bucket. Mm -hmm. The homie, try again. I just want to It allows you to get into any market. You know what people are paying. I don't know if you understand how powerful that is, Adrian Prince. Lavender. Yeah. It's major. <laughs> you know say my whole name. <laughs> <laughs> Real major. <laughs> um, let me see here. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Say yes. Just say yes. What? Just say yes. Yeah. Okay. See, ML Stevens wants to know when I purchase the software, can I still participate with your team? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh yes. I'm see. Put you out. Yes. He's still in the family. He's still gang. See. What? See, I told you to say yes. Yes. Um, no, 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 no. Nope. Buying houses, Irma. Ain't nobody say that. We just came up with a creative way for you to make it reasonably affordable for you and a group of friends. But no one said that you can have four people under one account. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 that ain't what we said. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't what we said. I'm just giving you a way, hey, to, to, to benefit everybody. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, a lot of people are like, I ain't going to pay this. It ain't nobody else paying. You no, know, because that's what it ended up being in most mm -hmm. cases. You got three, four paying, four started out paying, and only one end up ain't paying. ain't nobody using it, but that's yeah. okay, because once you make your dollars, you're going to be like, I got it, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I yeah. got it. <laughs> no, uh, buying houses, Irma. You heard it right. I'm just saying that's not what we said, <laughs> if that makes sense to you. Um, okay, so that was good. That was really good. And oh, yeah, you look like they great. are going to enjoy... Um, yeah, they, they'll be good on that. Okay, so what are we doing? Thumbnail. Okay, yeah, we're going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we already did the topic. Oh, that, was our topic. that was our topic. Okay, man. throw the thumbnail up. Throw the thumbnail up, baby. Okay, nationwide buyers on demand on my phone throughout the country with the whole coding thing in the background. I like that. That's really nice. Um, I don't know about that orange and green though. Like Miami. What? Um, yeah. Okay. I get it. It's nice. I like it. Um, head to body ratio is good in this one. Ears on the side of your head. Um, no kind of phone he got, but it looks like it's updated and new. But no, seriously, um, the title of today's Flipping Our Flipping Our 305 was How to Find Cash Buyers Anywhere. And you were able to experience a live demo of the invest, investor based tool. And so what we do is we ask, does the thumbnail correlate with the title? Like, could you look at this thumbnail and have an idea of what we were going to talk about tonight? If so, give it a five. If not, give it anything less than a five, but explain why. Just want to know your why. It's a good feedback opportunity for us to let us know um, what could be improved here. Um, as you are making your selections and putting that into the chat, please make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe, all of that so you're notified when new content is uploaded. Also, as Ty mentioned, on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, you can text the word group G R O U P to the number 205 964 5243 to get your questions answered in regards to is it a deal? Is it a deal? Live training. Just got to go join. Be active. That's it. So, um, everybody, text group. I'll send out a text message on that to let you know we're live mm -hmm. uh, in all those places. But you can just come back to YouTube tomorrow. Do a search on YouTube, any of the other platforms for Flipman, and um, just say Flipman Comps 101. Well, no, just say Flipman. It should show the live thing. But we'll be on live 12 noon, 11, 11 Central, 10 Mountain, Pacific Time, 9. All so, right. boom. So, what we got on this thumbnail? All baby? right. Farmer Mike gives you, hold on. I just missed all of it. Farmer Mike gives you a five. Um, Beverly Thomas gives you a 10. Buying, <laughs> PT. Don't do that. From the Queen City. <laughs> Buying houses, Irma gives you a five. Wanda gives you a five. Debbie and Scooter. I know you were late, Debbie and Scooter. It's just Debbie, but I'm um, glad you still made it. Glad to have you here always. G Brooks gives you a five. K Young a five. James Davis a five. Um, this thumbnail gets a five. Easy, easy, easy. Dianica, 
five it is, as always. But yeah. I didn't even add it. That's what she put. Okay. In there, but okay. she knew I was gonna say it. Wednesday, Friday. I was gonna say Wednesday, Friday. Your name is not Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> but a five. Will Helmus, our winner from last week. Oh yeah, Will. Did you get yeah, Will that reached out to me. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a five. Sunshine, five. Beautiful family types, five. The real Terry just couldn't put a five. It just didn't have it in you. Five point five. Just, just couldn't leave the beat. Oh. Uh, Tiffany, a five. Margaret, a five. Um. Bye, Irma. Have a good night. Um, you have to get up early in the morning. Bitchman, five. Carl Edmondson, a 10. Ramon Davis. So it's wholesaling real estate with the Flipman on Facebook. But again, just text the word group, G-R-O-U-P, to 205-964-5243, and you'll get a link that'll send you directly there. But it's wholesaling real estate with the Flipman. Um, Facebook user, five. Random Facebook user, 10. Ramon gives you a five. Jasmine, that is not even in the numbers. What's she get 100 from? Like, oh, that put me. Oh, that put me about a. Uh, I mean, ooh, you good for the rest by, of about a seven point seven. <laughs> Joe gives you a five. <laughs> Random Facebook user gives you a five. I think overall you got a five. Yes, the real Terry got on a blue shirt tonight. It ain't the same as that blue shirt with that zonks. That blue with that gray. Mm-mm. That that's uh, five color scheme. That that's cool. We okay, like that, okay. but it ain't the same. Yeah. Uh, okay. I ain't never wore that from both right. If it's new. Okay. Yeah. I said, I still got a tag on this. Okay. That's what's up. Don't make no sense. And Vanessa, thank you. A five. All right. Robert says, thanks, Ty. This is powerful. I'm rich. Thumbnail gives you a five. Uh, that's what's up, Rob. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So again, guys, uh, you see the opportunity to get that tool. Amazing. You got to at least get your de a demo set up. Right. Uh, again, if you want that hundred dollars off the first month, so really you only be paying a hundred dollars for the first month. Well, I'm sorry, 150 if you do the month to month. I mean, yeah, the month to month. And so just uh, use promo code flip. You already know that I'm coming out with a website to make it easier for you guys to access and get, you know, the uh, discount. Uh, I ain't going to put it out there yet because it's not live, but, you know, it's going to be real simple. Right. You know, you, it's easy to remember. Easy to remember. What you think it is, eh? Now, don't say this. Just, like, say it, you know, um, you know, uh, oh. no sound. You know, like. I, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, again, tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern, the number one reason why most wholesalers never do a deal is they don't get this part. They don't figure out what makes a great deal or not, right? So you could join us tomorrow, Wednesday, and Mondays. I went backwards. Um, uh, we're going to comp properties, land, houses, self-storage, multifamily. We're going to do our best. So join us. Have your properties ready to go. We will answer other questions, but have your properties ready to go so we can try to knock out as many as we can in the time allotted. All right. So, again, appreciate Adria. For making this thing work so well, along with uh, Daniel from Investor Base, and remember, use the promo code FLIP if you want that hundred dollars off the first month. Schedule a time with them so they can take you through your own personal demo. And as I like to always say, Adrian, we'll see you on the FLIP site. Uh, oh, that's the by promo code is FLIP uh -huh. with Investor Base. Uh -huh. Use the promo code FLIP. But uh, we'll see you on the FLIP on the S-I-D-E. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get that bag.